add Right, right. Oh, did you fly John, what I can do is I can mute everybody, but in order for you to start the presentation, you have to unmute. That was Monday night, and we could give a shit. <laughs> So, John, you're unmuted at the moment. I understand. Hello, everyone. We're going to get started in just a couple minutes. I, we got more people logging in all the time. So, I'm unmuted, right, Andre? No, you're on. You're you're unmuted. Yes, sorry, you're unmuted. Okay. I, I saw a little. I, I can't read anything without my reading glasses, and I saw a little screen pipe up, and I thought it said that I was I was un, I needed to unmute again. So. I did. I did mute everybody, and you you did, and I, then I quickly 
I got you back on track. Sorry about that. There you go. Excellent. I just want to make sure if I was going to start talking, everyone could hear me. Well, hello, everyone. Uh, my name's John Brenneman, for those who haven't attended a webinar before, and I am the president here at MOA Vacations. Uh, I wanted to thank everyone uh, for joining us today for our webinar on the yachts and uh, mast sailing ships of Windstar. We are lucky today to be joined by Andrea Mendelson. Uh, she's the regional sales manager for Windstar Cruises. Um, our presentation today will take place in four parts. In just a minute, I'm going to turn it over to Andrea, and she's going to talk about Windstar Cruises and their innovative 180 degrees from ordinary cruising concept. It's really amazing, and I know everyone's going to like it and enjoy it. Uh, after that, Andrea is going to showcase uh, Windstar destinations, specifically five groups. Departures are going to be highlighted, highlighted which combine additional savings opportunities with the opportunity um, to sail with your fellow MOA members. Uh, I'm then going to talk about the current promotions and the MOA exclusive offer that will save you hundreds on your next Windstar cruise. And then we're going to conclude with a question and answer session where Andrea and I will answer all of your questions about cruising, about the yachts of Windstar, uh, basically any, any concerns or questions you might have, we'll answer at that time. Um, before we start, uh, I did want to, um, I know a lot of you have worked with MOA Vacations before, but not everyone, so I did want to take just a second uh, to talk about MOA Vacations, who we are and what we do, and, and kind of what makes us unique. Um, Andre, if you don't mind going to the next slide, um, yeah. there are almost 10,000 travel agencies in the United States. So the question I always like to talk about is why did MOA select us to be their official travel agency partner? And the simple answer, as I always like to say, is that we provide better service than any other travel agency. And I say that because we're the only travel agency in the country that does travel on a satisfaction guaranteed basis. And that what that basically means is exactly what it sounds like. If you book with us and you have a problem, we will resolve that problem to your satisfaction. Uh, we've been doing that with MOA since we first started working with them, which would have been back in 1998. Um, and even last year um, and parts of this year with everything we had going on with COVID and all the cancellations and everything, um, everyone um, that booked through us was satisfied, which basically means we got everybody their money back. Um, the first bullet listed there is, is lowest rates. Uh, I should probably change the order on this slide, but you know, a lot of people are concerned about pricing and want to make sure that, that there's some type of guarantee that they're going to get the best deal. I can tell you, I always consider this as covered in our satisfaction guarantee because no one's going to be satisfied if they pay too much. Um, free amenities, uh, we have this with the majority of vendors, cruise lines, and tour companies we work with. I can tell you with Windstar, it is $100 per person onboard credit. That is an amenity that you have as a MOA member uh, when you book um, through MOA Vacations. Um, all of the specials that we go through, so the group opportunities today, when we talk about the pricing, the satisfaction guarantee, the free amenities, all of that is available not only to you as a MOA member, but any friends and family that you bring with you. So, for example, let's say that you see the Greek Isles cruise that we're going to talk about a little bit, and you want to go and you want to bring your brother and your sister-in-law, or you want to bring the grandkids, or you want to bring your neighbors or whatever it is. There's no limit on the number of people that you can bring. The key is that you need to go because all the amenities are tied to you and your MOA membership. Um, group opportunities. Um, we're going to talk about that today. It's one of the unique things we, we offer. Um, here's just a few pictures of some recent um, MOA groups that we've done. Um, if you look at the ones on the left, and I actually think a couple of people who are on today might be in one of these pictures, but the two pictures on the left are actually uh, from our recent Mississippi River Cruise. Um, it was our first large group departure. We had 150 MOA members and their guests on board on a July 17th through 25th sailing from Memphis to New Orleans that I think everyone just had a phenomenal time. Um, I always, I, I, I love the picture on the upper right. Just real quick story about that. That's the cruise director 
of our cruise. And I asked him if he could sing a patriotic song at the end of, uh, you know, just one evening I asked if he could sing a patriotic song. And uh, he was singing God Bless the USA from Lee Greenwood. And that's, if you notice everybody standing up, everybody stood up and sang along. It was just, I mean, it was just a great event. And I can imagine that all of our groups in the future were gonna do something similar. But anyway, so that's that that was kind of my third part where I'm going to talk about the special promotion. Uh, and then finally, when the webinar is over, we're going to um, we're going to do a Q&A uh, where we can answer all your questions. I did want to let everybody know, and I don't know if everybody was here when we started, um, like we always do when the webinar is over, we will send everybody a copy of the presentation. Um, I always like to give a quick tip that, you know, we started right at two. So if um, you see something, I'm sorry, three o'clock Eastern, I'm talking about time zone, but if you see something that, that you want to go back to or, or you want to share with somebody, just make a note of the time. So that way, when you get the webinar, the webinar is going to be pretty long. So if it's 22 minutes after the hour, when you get the webinar, you can just fast forward to that point and find what it was on the video that you wanted to review again. Um, during the presentation, if you have any questions, you can ask them in the online chat. Uh, Steve Matthews uh, is actually um, on the chat right now, and he'll be able to answer questions um, during the webinar, um, or you can save them to the very end. So um, let's get started. Um, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, it gives me great pleasure to turn it over to Andrea Mendes. Andrea? Thank you so much, John. What a pleasure it is working with you, and I look forward to many more times. I am just going to um, hand over, and I have done the controls to both you and Stephen, so that if people do come in, hopefully you admit them, because we have got a lot of people joining right now. So welcome, everybody. It's my absolute delight and pleasure to be working with MOA Vacations today. Um, I am going to hopefully share with you how Windstar Cruises is truly 180 degrees from ordinary. And think about it. So often people say, well, you know, I did a 360. What does that mean? It means you started in one place and you end up in that same place again. But I am hopefully going to take you through this presentation and show you how we are truly at 180 degrees from ordinary. Again, as John introduced me, my name is Andrea Mendelson. I'm a regional sales manager with Canada, uh, with Windstar Cruises. I am based today in Canada. But I'm so excited to share with you about our fabulous product. We have six small ships in our fleet. Just think about it. You think, well, why? Where can six small ships go? You would be amazed and surprised when I talk about some of the itineraries that we go, where we can very cleverly deploy these beautiful ships. And this has been our unique selling point since the get-go. We talk about that small ship experience, going to off the beaten places, all the small little ports and all the little bays that the big ships simply can't get to. What you're seeing in this beautiful picture on your left-hand side, you're gonna see an example of what we call our star class ship or our power yachts. And on the right-hand side of your screen, you're gonna see a picture of one of our sailing ships. We have three sailing ships, three of these star class ships, and the experience, no matter what you do and which destination you go to, is still going to be that 180 degrees from ordinary. I'm going to put in a quick video, which I hope will encapsulate everything that I want to say, but I'm certainly going to come back and share a lot more information with you. Enjoy, everybody. We live in an awesome world with tropical islands, enchanted coastlines, gleaming port cities, storybook villages with wonders beyond compare. What better way to explore it all than by yacht? Windstar is 180 degrees from any other kind of cruise. Yacht style cruising is about freedom. The freedom to do as you please. No waiting in lines. Freedom to dine when, where, and with whomever you choose. With culinary artistry that will simultaneously wow you and make you feel very much at home. Windstar's fleet is made up of three luxury power yachts and three iconic luxury sailing ships. Designed to our exacting specifications, carrying fewer than 300 guests. By design, 
it's made to feel like your own private yacht. True luxury isn't grandiose. It's simple. Make it all about you, our guest. Whether that means helping to create a very special occasion or knowing just when to stay out of the way. Windstar has created an experience that's all about our guests. Perhaps that's why readers of Condé Nast Traveler voted us the world's best small ship cruise line. Windstar's yachts get you closer to the world, closer to natural wonders, closer to the people and immersed in the cultures we visit. On a yacht, there are simply fewer barriers between you and authentic experiences. We are in the magic moments business, curating unique voyages to legendary places and places nobody else goes. Bringing you unforgettable private events as well as the freedom to create your own perfect moments. We invite you to think of these yachts as your yachts. Welcome aboard Windstar Cruises. So I hope that's given you just a little taste and whet your appetite, as I like to say, to get you really excited about what I'm going to share with you today. And from the video, you probably saw that the small ship experience is all about taking our guests in a different direction, taking you to places that you simply can't get to on those big ships out there. And even if we do go to some of the same destinations, invariably those big ships are gonna be anchored and docked way out to sea and you're gonna to have to tender in. Whereas with Windstone, we are so often to dock either right in port or very close to it so that you have that experience where you're right in the destination, you don't have to tender for hours, and we're truly going to take you to those captivating places, those unique places, and in many instances, places that you probably didn't think you could get to on a, on a ship. So those wonderful places where we want to create memories that are going to last a lifetime. And again, going beyond the, beyond the reach of those other big ships out there we get you to see what you want to see in the first place. So for example, we'll get into a destination. You don't have that frenetic urgency to run into the destination. Check it off your bucket list. Take a picture to prove that you were there. Buy a souvenir, maybe have something to drink, and then stand in the line to get on the tender to go to the next place. We want you to have that immersive experience in these unique destinations. And again, truly get to see what you set out to see in the first place. So let me talk and carry on talking about these 180 degrees from ordinary experiences. And for Windstar, there might be an assumption or presumption that it's a very, a very formal experience where you have to get dressed up for dinner and meal. That is not the case on Windstar Cruises. We like to say we travel in understated elegance. And what does that mean? Country club casual attire for dinner in the evening. We just don't want ripped jeans or shorts and sandals in our restaurant. But by all means, gentlemen, you can wear khakis and a short sleeve golf shirt. Ladies, we can go in a dress and a skirt, just a casual attire. As, and again, no formal nights. Do you want to be in the Caribbean? Do you want to be in the Mediterranean? Do you want to be in Alaska and have to get dressed up in a long gown or for gentlemen in a jacket and tie? Nobody wants to do that. So for us, no formalities, no making reservations in our main dining room. We do ask that you make a reservation in our specialty dining rooms just so that everybody has a chance. But the important thing to know is there is no surcharge. We want you to have, you've earned, listen, we've all been through this dreaded disease, this whole COVID situation. We've earned this vacation. You've earned the right to travel and enjoy yourself. And for us, it's about those relaxed days. Nobody has to get up early in the morning. You pull the short straw and have to go and put the towel on the jet deck chair to save your space or to be first in line for the tender. As I mentioned, we're either going to dock right in port or very close to it. So wake up at your leisure, have a wonderful breakfast, go into the destination when you want to do, and then come back and maybe take advantage of our water sports platform. It's all what you want to do. This is your vacation and you're our VIP. And of course, because we're small, 
when Star Cruises is all about small ship cruising, it's the freedom from crowds. Particularly now, nobody wants to stand in long lines. You don't want to jostle for space. We want you to have that one-on-one -on -one experience with our crew. And as you hopefully heard from the video, we want you to feel like you're on your own private yacht. We are able to anticipate your needs. Our crew get to know your names. They get to know your preferences by day two. Doesn't that make you feel important? You're not just a number on a ship that has 6,000 people. How are we able to do that? We have a ratio of crew to guest, one to 1.5. And while I know there's no such thing as half a person, just think of the exemplary service if we've got one, one, one crew member catering to one and a half guests. Now, I'm sure you've been on many presentations with John and his team every cruise line, every rail company, every coach company is all gonna say, well, our food is the best. Nobody's gonna say our food is mediocre. I'm also gonna say that our food is the best. And how am I able to do that? I can substantiate what I'm saying because we are the exclusive partner of the James Beard Foundation. James Beard is, is an American organization but recognizes globally top chefs, top sommeliers, top mixologists who come on board and train our chefs how to create the most amazing, delicious, mouth-watering meals. And I hope I'm making you all hungry here, but our food is absolutely outstanding on board. How can you feel like you're on your own private yacht if you see red ropes and yellow tape and you cannot have access anywhere? We invite you into our bridge. We have an open bridge policy. Come and have coffee with a captain in the morning. We have a special brew. While we're sailing at night under the stars, come and speak to our crew. What a wonderful experience. Understandably now with our health and safety protocols, we limit the number of guests at any time in the, in the bridge, but we're still welcoming people on board. All six of our ships, whether it's the master ships, whether it's the, the power yachts, we all have a water sports platform. When we're not docked right in port and we're a little bit away, we just anchored it just a little way, when it's safe to do so in the warm waters, we are able to lower the water sports platform and all the water sports except for scuba are complimentary. What a wonderful way to go into the port, see the sights, do some shopping and then come back and take advantage of these water sports. Kayaking, paddle boarding, skiing, but you might say to John and his team, hang on a second, I'm not that adventurous, I just want to relax. Well, you can do that as well. We have flotation mattresses, so there's something for everybody to truly enjoy. John had mentioned, and I'm going to mention as well, we have a very robust portfolio of destinations. You might be thinking, six small ships, where could they possibly go? I encourage you to speak to MOA Vacations, get them to send you our latest brochure that just came out last week and you would be amazed and surprised at the amazing destinations we go to. Asia, we've just started going to Australia, New Zealand. We do Northern Europe. We've got such an array of destinations, none of which I can really talk with you about today because of the time limits. But I'm going to talk to you about some of the groups that MOA Vacations has put together. And the order that I'm going to showcase them to you is in the order of departure. So we've got Costa Rica and Panama Canal on March the 26th. Next year on our Star Legend, we've got a new brand new itinerary called Baja Blue Waters and Treasures of the Sea of Cortez. This is another fabulous itinerary. This is brand new, as I say, going on the 22nd of April next year on our newly renovated Star Breeze. And I'm going to talk to you in detail about these ships. Then we have Alaskan Splendors. I want to say, even if you have been to Alaska, what a way to do it on Windstar. If you haven't, this is simply what you have to do. And I've done it, and I'm going to share with you my first-hand experience. That'll be on May the 31st, 2022. Then Tahiti. We have an all-year-round program in Tahiti. We do the Society Islands, and what John and his team have chosen here is to go on to the Tuamotu Islands as well. That is on the 22nd of August, 2022, on one of our smaller sailing ships, the Wind Spirit. And last but not least, another beautiful itinerary called Adriatic Archipelagos and Greek Goddesses. It's on the 19th of September, 2020, on our biggest ship called the Wind Surf. 
So let me talk about just some of the destinations that you're going to see. Again, time doesn't permit me to go into too many details, but this beautiful itinerary called Costa Rica and the Panama Canal, you do spend one whole day traversing through the Panama Canal, and it's absolutely wonderful. Here, look at this, uh, uh, this you're going to do on the Star Legend, and I will talk to you in detail about the fact that all these starships, our power ships, have been newly refurbished and totally renovated. So this is something quite exciting for us. Uh, we announced uh, our $250 million Star Plus initiative. Let me just wait for my slide to go. There we go. Uh, at, we, we, we call it our $250 million Star Plus initiative where we took all three of our Star Class ships into a shipyard in Palermo, Italy. I'm sure you're gonna find this unbelievably interesting. Aside from refurbishing every single washroom, the engine room, the spa facility, the retail facility, the fitness facility, we split these ships, stretched them, and have added in an 84-foot section, prefabricated section, with 50 new suites, which will give us the capacity of another 100 guests. So we're going from 212 guests to 312 guests. And these ships are now our Star Breeze and our Star Legend have gone into the water and we couldn't be more excited and thrilled. So you will be experiencing these wonderful new washroom, bathrooms, these beautiful new uh, uh, staterooms that we've got in suites. And here is your beautiful itinerary. You're going to learn while you're on the cruise. We have lecturers. You're going to have local naturalists that come on board. You're able to take zodiacs ashore and find some rare experiences. You can hike to beautiful beaches. There's abundant wildlife on this itinerary. For those of you who are adventurous enough, you can zip line uh, 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 in Capos, seeing, looking for, for, for wildlife. It is amazing. Here you will start out in Costa Rica, in Porta Caldera. And just to let you know that when you are in Costa Rica, they enjoy 5% of the world's biodiversity. You're going to see the most amazing avian species, all these beautiful um, macaws, toucans, hawks, amongst a whole lot of other wildlife that you're going to get to experience. So again, just to whet your appetites in the time that we've got, a beautiful another small port of call that the big ships don't go to called Capos. Golfo Dolce as well. And in Isla Parida, this is where we do what Winstock calls our beach barbecue. This is a special event that we give. It's complimentary. We take out all our water sports. It's a beautiful experience where you go on, on, on shore, on the beach, and we do a beautiful barbecue. These, again, are some of the destinations, but I can't not talk about the wonderful experience in the Panama Canal. It's a daylight transit that you do. And I have to tell you that while I was there, there was another big ship behind me, as you can see. And I don't know if you can see all these people, lead thousands of people leaning over the banisters, looking down at this remarkable engineering feat. It is amazing, but let me tell you, doing it the Windstar way, 180 degrees from ordinary, where you truly immersed in the experience. When the locks opened and closed, we rose up and went down with the waters. It was just a phenomenal experience. There's so many observation vantage points, both outside and inside, for you to experience this. It is just quite a phenomenal experience. And then you're going to end up in Colón, Panama. Our other itinerary that uh, Moa Vacations has chosen for you is this beautiful Baja Blue, Baja Blue Water and Treasures of the Sea of Cortez. Again, let me just tempt you with some beautiful pictures. This is going to be on the Star Breeze. She is our first ship that has been refurbished, as I explained to you. We've got our Star Legend and Star Breeze already in the waters. And this, again, is a wonderful itinerary during predominantly Mexican ports of call, which is really the highlight of these. You're going to start in San Diego. You are going to have two days at sea, so I do want to talk about the refurbished restaurants, eating destinations that you can go to. We serve our breakfast and lunch both outside and inside on our veranda cafe. Lots of opportunities, again, just to relax and have a wonderful experience on board. Again, when you go to any of our specialty restaurants, we ask that you make a reservation, but there is no surcharge. One of the days on all our itineraries, we close all the restaurants. It's either lunchtime or a dinner time, our captain decides, and we have this most amazing signature deck barbecue. It is just phenomenal. And then afterwards, there's 
dancing with the crew on board. So many people find this a highlight of our cruise. We've also on our starships introduced two new specialty restaurants. Quad Row 44 is a tapas uh, style restaurant. It's done in partnership with Anthony Sasso, who works at a Michelin star restaurant in New York. Uh, and then in partnership with Stephen Raikland, we have our Star Grill, which is a, a take on modern and traditional barbecue. And you eat under the stars. Again, just make a reservation and there's no problem at all. Look at these beautiful ports of call that we're going to be taking you to. And you're going to hear it, uh, end here in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, and then fly back from there. We can't leave here without talking about this beautiful Alaskan splendors. You're gonna leave from Vancouver and onto Seward. What a destination. But I have to share with you, talking about a true, authentic, immersive experience in these amazing places. Some of you might've been on an Alaskan cruise. Have you been to Misty Fjords? Did you go to Wrangell? Many of the cruise ships go to Juneau, I do know that, but a place like Tracy Arm and Endicott Arm, we were truly the only ship out there. So when you're talking about a, a, a small footprint, but the having nature and having this entire destination to ourselves was quite amazing. I want to talk about being up close and personal. What do we do? I spoke about lowering our water sports platform when we're in the beautiful warm calm waters of the Caribbean or the Mediterranean or Tahiti. We also do it when we're in the beautiful waters of Alaska where we lower our water sports platform and we launch our two person kayaks or our six people zodiacs and you are right up close and personal. I wanna show you a picture, this is me uh, uh, two years ago, in fact, but I want to show you my experience while I am in a zodiac. You're going to go up and down with me. And watch this amazing experience. Here I am in my zodiac. I'm watching everybody. Some of the experiences I was fortunate enough to see these killer whales. We travel with six expedition experts. They range from glaciologists to botanists to wildlife photographers, wildlife experts, and they know where to find these incredible animals and these incredible sites. So you're in for an amazing treat and surprise when you travel with Windstar Cruises to these destinations. Tahiti, we have an all year round program in Tahiti. We, uh, we, we currently do this on our, what we call our wind spirit, uh, a beautiful small ship that only takes 148 guests with a 101 crew. What an incredible way to see these islands where we can go with our small little ships into the little bays, into the little motus. What we're doing on this beautiful itinerary that Moa Vacations has chosen is we're going to be doing the Society Islands, which of course start in Papieti. We do Morea, we do Huahini, we do Rayatea, Bora Bora, which are the Society Islands. But we also include Rangiroa and Fakarava in the Tuamotu Islands. So here, I just want to give you another taste of what our beautiful experience is all about. Enjoy again. <music> Tahiti. What better way to explore a nation of islands than by yacht? A Windstar yacht. Sail into small bays big ships can't reach. Explore beaches on uninhabited motus. There is nothing between you and the real Tahiti. Paddle, swim, or snorkel right from a yacht built specifically for Tahiti on a line that was voted the world's best small ship cruise line. Hop ashore to the enchanted landscape of Morea. Riotea's lush forests and black pearl farm. Play in the bathtub warm lagoons surrounding Bora Bora's exotic peaks. Let Windstar take you into these unique island paradises with overnight stays at most. 
thoughtfully designed staterooms, exquisite yet relaxed dining experiences, unforgettable private events, and a crew that never stop finding ways to make you feel like you're on your own private yacht. Make this the ultimate way to experience Polynesia. Just an eight hour flight from LAX to Papiete or nine and a half from Sydney, Windstar is here year round. Choose from seven, 10 or 11 day itineraries with plenty of options to extend your stay on shore. See and experience the most of Tahiti on the world's best small ship cruise line. So, of course, Moa Vacations has chosen a beautiful 11-day itinerary that I mentioned to you includes both the Society Islands and the Tuamotu Islands. And this, I simply had to share this beautiful picture of our beautiful twin spirit here in Tahiti in Papieti. You are going to start out going to Morea, which is really, the, the, we, we, we dock in, in Anchor Bay. It is absolutely a phenomenal experience. You get to either swim with the stingrays, you get to see parrotfish, there's snorkeling, there's the underwater life here is quite remarkable as well. And again, going on to Rayatea, where you can go and you can actually harvest your own black pearl. I have to say, ladies, don't come back without having a beautiful pearl, without purchasing a or getting somebody to purchase you a beautiful pearl. And they're not only the black pearls, they come in an array of colors, an array of shapes and sizes. So this is something and a beautiful memory that you're going to have. In Tahar, again, there's the beautiful vanilla. You, as you come in, you've got this amazing scent of vanilla. And what we do here is we do our our beach barbecue. So you can have massage on the beach. We do a beautiful beach barbecue as well. We take you from your shore excursions if you're doing anything, so you're not going to miss anything. We zodiac you right up to this island, so you're not going to miss out on anything. Of course, we lower our water sports platform. And as you heard and saw before, you're able to participate and partake in all the water sports. If you're going to be doing scuba, you need to let MOA vacations know because we have to get a PADI certified diver, but everything else is complimentary. So we encourage you to do that. Bora Bora, this is where we overnight, but what we do here as well is we do what we call our destination discovery event. Complimentary for all our guests. You have a beautiful day in Bora Bora doing all the activities you want. And the good news, everybody, is now if you go to if you go to Tahiti with Windstar, you are able to do your own shore excursions. You are not required to go in a Windstar organized shore excursion. This is and Greece are the two destinations that allow you to discover on your own. But this destination discovery event, we do a fabulous meal, the Tahitian feast, and then afterwards you're going to get this amazing experience with all these beautiful fire dances. So what an incredible experience. Then you're going to sail on to the Tuamotu Islands, Fakarava. It's known as the Islands of Dreams. It is a protective uh, atoll. It's got so much underwater life, of course, as well as birds and plants. It's actually home to the second largest lagoon in the Tuamotu Islands. It's about nine nine square feet, um, I'm sorry, nine square miles. And you truly get to experience the beautiful nature, snorkeling, there's some black, harmless black-tipped black, black -tipped sharks, lots to do here, as well as if you are an underwater enthusiast, this is an incredible experience going on to Rangiroa. Again, it's the largest of the Tuamotu Islands, and it's, it's basically like an, an immense natural aquarium. So what an experience for you to do that. Last but not least, I want to talk about this incredible itinerary that they have chosen, the Adriatic Archipelagos and Greek Goddesses. It is on the 19th of September 2022. It's nine days on our windsurf. And I couldn't be more thrilled to tell you that as of Monday, the 9th of August, the windsurf is now back in the water. So we have four out of our six ships back in the water, which is quite remarkable remarkable. We did things slowly, we did things surely, and we are back safely. Look at this grand ship. She is our biggest sailing ship. She's the biggest sailing vessel in the world. And she takes three, she has the capacity for 342 guests. What an incredible experience. Now these sailing ships, these wind ships with the masts, don't have balconies, you might notice. And I really ask you not to say to anybody at Moa Vacations, well, You've booked me on many cruises and you know I love to have a balcony. 
This is just by design of the ship. But let me say to you, don't forego an incredible experience, a marvelous vacation, going to ports of call that you probably simply can't get to on other ships because there isn't a balcony. You heard from our video. We want you to feel like you're on your own private yacht. Go anywhere on the deck space, grab two deck chairs, make that your balcony. If you're traveling with friends and family, grab four, grab six deck chairs, make that your balcony. If you're looking for a little bit of extra room, we have these double suites. We took 62 staterooms. We broke down the wall in between and we converted them into 31 double suites. If you feel you want that little bit of extra room, by all means, ask Moa Vacations for, a, for, for one of the suites. What an incredible experience not to be missed by, by, by not coming on this itinerary. Look at this beautiful itinerary. We're going to start in Greece. You're going to go to different ports of call. We all love to go to Santorini and Mykonos. They are absolutely amazing. But look at the different ports of call here that we're going to in Greece. We're going to go to uh, uh, KOTOR in Montenegro, and then we're going to go to Croatia, three, three ports in Croatia, before we actually end up in Venice, Italy. So what an incredible experience this is going to be. Starting off in Athens, I mean, there's 3,000 years of history here, and not to be missed, I would encourage you to go in a day or two or more earlier just to, to discover this beautiful destination. And places like Monomvasia. You know, we all think that we're going to go to the usual places, but look at this place, Monomvasia. Absolutely amazing destination to go to, off the beaten path, as we like to say. And you're going to be here to enjoy this immersive experience. Places like Casa Colon, a beautiful little seaside. I mean, they're all going to be seaside, but they've all got their own character. Look at the color. I wanted to share with you the different character and the different experiences that you're going to have. And you're also going to find on Windstar that we visit many, many UNESCO World Heritage Sites that you will see once you get to, once you get to Croatia. Here we do Corfu in Greece. Again, I'm just tempting you with these magnificent pictures. Koto Montenegro, and then of course going to the three beautiful ports, which are UNESCO World Heritage Sites in, in Croatia. So Dubrovnik, Havar that we're going to go to, and Zadar as well. Then we're going to end up in beautiful Venice, Italy, where you can extend and MOA Vacations can make those arrangements for you. I am so excited to say what is included on all the group offerings that John will elaborate on, but on every group that you book through MOA Vacations, you're all going to get $100 per person shipboard credit. And because John booked an amazing promotion with us, you are also able to choose one out of the following perks. Either an additional $100 per person shipboard credit if you're taking a standard category, or you can choose between a free host hotel stay either before or after your cruise, so either in Greece or Venice. If you book one of our premium categories, a suite on Windstar, your auction could be $200 per person. That would be in addition to the $100 or a free hotel, pre or post. So you might be wondering, you know, you didn't really know about Windstar Cruises before John invited you to come and learn all about it. Are you the typical Windstar guest? Well, let me say to you, we don't confirm children under the age of eight. So you're not going to find a lot of young families with young children, but you certainly might find some young couples who've said to their parents or their in-laws, you look after the children, we're going on Windstar. It's certainly for those guests who are adventurous, who truly want an immersive, authentic experience in the destinations. And let me repeat again, in a very understated way, in a very unpretentious way, way. Again, no dressing up for dinner. So it's a true casual environment where you get to get to the destinations. And this is very port intensive for us. For us, it's about the destinations. But you're traveling with like-minded people in a very intimate small ship experience. So part of this, this is Windstar. This is a Windstar experience. Everything is a Windstar experience. No matter which ship you choose, your ship has arrived and we truly hope to welcome you on board. In addition, because we work so closely with our partners, MOA Vacation, because you joined us today, if you make any booking, whether it's a group booking or whether it's just an ordinary booking, as of tomorrow till the 27th of August, so you've got two weeks, in addition, we're going to give you $50 per person shipboard credit, and that will be added onto any of the special offers that you're going to get in any case. 
So with that, I want to tell you through this whole period, we've been waiting and chomping at the bit to welcome you on board. We truly hope you're going to come and join us in the next little while. And with that, I'd like to truly thank you for your time and your attention. And I'm now going to hand over to John, who's going to take over from now. So thank you, everybody. Fantastic. <laughs> um, I can tell you, I'm ready to go. Good. <laughs> A couple of things I wanted to mention. Uh, first off, uh, an hour before this presentation began, uh, I emailed everybody uh, a link uh, to a web page that, that lists these five groups and kind of goes through what the offer is, has the itinerary map. Um, I also posted it in chat. Um, we're going to get to the Q&A in just a second. So when you have your questions for Q&A, you can enter them in chat as well. Um, I did want to say one thing um, and, and make sure it's clear, and that's the Come Sail Away promotion applies not only to the five groups that we have, but to all um, Windstar Sailing. So let's say, for example, that there's an itinerary that they go to uh, that you'd like to go to um, that we don't have a group set on. Uh, you can certainly give us a call and we're more than happy to help you book that and you will receive the Come Sail Away promotion of your choice of a free pre or post uh, or uh, the $100 onboard credit. Or let's say you decide you wanna do the Greek Isles, but the date that we're doing, the group departure doesn't work for you. Um, you can certainly go you know, before or after that. That, that, the, that itinerary is available on a number of different dates. Um, so that, 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 that promotion would be available on any itinerary or any date that you wanted to go and the show special, uh, which is valid for the next two weeks of the $50 onboard credit, uh, is also available not only just on the groups, but on any um, uh, Windstar sailing that you would like to do. So, um, you know, if, if the groups work out, that's great. I know it's a huge plus of the camaraderie of traveling with fellow MOA members, uh, but if not, uh, the $100 onboard credit, the MOA exclusive offer, uh, is available on over 250 uh, 2022 and 2023 sailings to 13 different itineraries. Um, this is just a, a screenshot of uh, like one page of this. I think it would be like seven or eight screens to list them all. So basically, wherever you'd like to go where Windstar is going, we have an opportunity to offer you the $100 MO exclusive offer, uh, you, as well as the show special, as well as the current promotions. So it's a great opportunity um, to save a lot of money on your next yacht sailing or your mass sailing show. So um, I, did, I do know there are a lot of MOA single members. So whenever we do one of these presentations, I always want to talk about the single share program real quick. Uh, we do try to offer this on as many sailings as we can, particularly the group departures. Uh, you can read through this real quick. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. If it's something you're interested in, let us know. But basically what it is, is we are looking to help single travelers, you know, avoid the single supplement uh, by offering you the opportunity to travel with fellow MOA single members. The next slide kind of goes through kind of a four-step process uh, on how this works. But real simple uh, is, it, is if you are looking at doing a booking, um, you get the quote, you find out what the single supplement is. If you get a little sticker shock on the single supplement or you just like to say whatever that percentage supplement is, you just let your agent at MOA know. Um, and then as additional members call in and ask for the same departure that you're going on, um, they'll put you in contact with that MOA member. So the two of you can talk and you can decide amongst yourselves uh, if there's somebody you want to travel with. This worked exceedingly well. I mentioned before our recent Mississippi River cruise, we had a couple of um, single MOA members, a couple of ladies um, that actually met on that group and now are traveling together on the upcoming European holiday markets cruise. So it's an opportunity to meet potential future travel partners. Um, it works better with the groups because we've had people call up before. I remember last year, somebody called up and they wanted to do like a 50 day um, Holland America cruise round trip, Fort Lauderdale, all around the Cape and all through the Panama Canal and back to Fort Lauderdale. We didn't actually find anybody for that um, because it was just a one-off offer. But on like the five group departures we had or any of our groups, uh, if that's something you're looking in, certainly let us know. 
I do want to mention we're not a matchmaking agency, so you will be paired up uh, with people that are of the same sex as you to, to meet. So um, we, we don't offer those services. So um, as I mentioned, I haven't seen any pop up yet, but if you have any questions, uh, drop them in the Q&A. Uh, we have about 15 minutes for the Q&A. I do always like to talk about COVID protocols um, uh, before we get into the Q&A, because a lot of times that's what those questions are about. Um, I can tell you that like all the other cruise lines, uh, Windstar has now added the new top of the line uh, HEPA filters with U UV irradiation. They have been clean, enhanced cleaning protocols. Um, they're doing everything they can to uh, make sure that you're safe. Uh, the safety of MOA members is our primary concern. Um, the, the groups that we just talked about are all in 2022, so, are, so they're like eight months or longer away. So we really don't know what the protocols will be right now. But I can tell you that currently Windstar does require everyone to be vaccinated to sail. Um, while the, the anticipation would be that eventually that requirement would be lifted, um, I personally certainly don't think that it's anything that would be lifted before third or fourth quarter of 2022 at the soonest. I think it's in place for at least the next year or so. Um, you never know. I could be wrong. It could be lifted sooner than that. Uh, but unfortunately, if you are unable to be vaccinated or you don't want to be vaccinated, uh, Windstar probably isn't the best choice for you, at least in 2022. Uh, look into 2023, hopefully. Pray to God, uh, we're not still talking about COVID in 2023. So, um, got to pop back on my reading glasses because I see we had a question come in, um, and that would be uh, COVID restrictions. Okay, so I think I just answered that. Um, as far as uh, the restrictions on what the various, okay, so the question was, what are the current restrictions? I'll just read the question. I should do that. What are Windstar restrictions on board the ships and how far in advance do we need to know what the, do we know what the various ports of call may impose? So I think I kind of just went through uh, what Windstar is currently um, requiring. They do require everybody to be vaccinated um, and they do have everyone test. They actually test you when you get to the ship. So you don't need to do a test um, prior uh, to going there. Of course, one of the things you run into um, is you, you probably best ask this question to an agent depending on where you're, you're going because the countries may have their own requirements. So for example, I'm going to Europe. Um, actually, I'm going to Bahamas next week, uh, Saturday, not even next week. So on Saturday, I'm going, I'm taking my daughter on a cruise before she heads off to college and the Bahamas require uh, that you get a, um, a, you get a COVID test. I just had one today, I'm negative again. So I'm four for four on my COVID test, but uh, they require a COVID test. But with 13 different destinations that Windstar goes to, it's difficult to say exactly what those requirements are for both the country, for, for all those countries. So it's best just to ask. So the country may require that you get tested before you fly. But as I said, Windstar requires you to be vaccinated and has a test when you arrive. Um, a lot of a lot of countries, and the EU is the one that that most people are going to right now. So just to talk about the EU, um, is uh, to return from the EU, you're going to need a COVID test, um, and then you would work through. Um, you'd either work with Windstar to be tested while you're still on the ship, or they're doing testing at the airports. And then to the other question, I know this is a long answer, um, but as far as the individual ports. Um, typically cruise ships are exempt from the same requirements if you're flying into a country and staying overnight. Um, but that being said, if you were to say, look at a particular itinerary that was going to multiple countries, we could certainly tell you what those protocols are now. But as I said, you look at our Greek Isles cruise, which is a year from now, what the current protocols for Greece are may not be what they are a year from now. So unfortunately, it's kind of a wait and see kind of game. But we'd certainly think that the any protocols would be lessened a year from now than what they are now. So uh, any other questions? Sorry, I got the reading glasses back on again. Um, 
Is that actually our only question? No one else has anything? Andrea, is there anything you'd like to add before we let everybody go 10 minutes early? Look at us go. Wow, I could have gone into such more detail, John, about I know. destinations. I rushed through just because I thought I, you know, I had to stick to the time. But, you know, I hope that if you do have any questions, please address them, of course, to MOA Vacations. And, if, you know, we, we, we're working closely with them. So if there's anything specific that I didn't address and you want John to find out about, I would be more than happy to get back to John and his team and, you know, if there is anything that comes to mind. And the only other thing I mentioned, just because um, the open bridge, I think um, I think that's going to be very popular. We actually did um, uh, tours of the bridge um, uh, when we were on the Mississippi River cruise, and um, I think we originally started out with two uh, tours, and I think we ended up with four or five tours because we were limited it to twenty people a tour, just because of the size of the room, we couldn't really fit more people in. So I think we had at least two thirds of the people that actually signed up for that. So I do know um, that's something that seemed to be really popular with the members. So I, I think people will appreciate the opportunity that they can just go whenever they want. What we had to do on, um, on the American Countess was we actually had to schedule it. You know, and so there was a specific date and a specific time and it was escorted and it went in. And I can tell you that's something that American Queen doesn't normally do. They did it exclusively for our group. So the fact that you can go on any wind car, wind, wind star sailing and actually visit the bridge whenever you want is, is just a great, great benefit. So uh, I'm just going to remind everybody, um, it takes a little while for this to actually download and then when we upload it. We actually have a MOA Vacations uh, YouTube page now. Uh, because we do a couple of these webinars a month and have been doing it for a while. Um, but probably by the end of the day, I would think, if not today, tomorrow, we'll send everybody an email. Um, and that email will include a link to this webinar if you want to rewatch it or share it with anybody. Um, but without any other questions coming in, we'll go ahead and end the webinar. I thank everybody for showing up. Um, we have, um, as I mentioned, I'm on vacation next week. I'm really looking forward to it. We do have a Uniworld webinar in a couple of weeks, two weeks from today. If you haven't signed up for that yet, uh, please do. And I'll actually be able to tell you what the process was of actually flying to a foreign country, being tested, boarding the ship, getting off, and all of those other steps that are required. Um, if anybody has any questions about what cruising is like, I know Steve Matthews. Uh, who a number of you know, uh, either through working with Steve or going on uh, the recent American Countess Group, actually uh, was on an Alaska cruise last week. So Steve can already answer those questions of, of what sailing is like. Uh, although he did Alaska, so that was the state. So he didn't leave the country. So anyway, I'm excited to leave the country for the first time since COVID came around. Uh, thanks, everybody, for attending. Have a great remainder of your day. And hopefully I see you again in two weeks. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for your time. Thank you, John. Sure thing. Thank you.